starts to rush. Hello. Tell me about your family, man. Tell me what's been going on. I haven't seen you for such a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I just, uh, like I said, I've been living in the hotel. How is that? Is that is it good? But I usually use my inheritance. Can I get uh what am I on? Yeah, on the back there. Yeah, oh they got a bunch of Okay. Yeah, you change your numbers on me. I, I know, you started. I I tried to stay good, but alright, I'm gonna do this thing. I just need five bucks, but I wanna see I, I think board. that this is clear. Yeah, you know what it is? It's like at the end of the month or right in the beginning of the month. And let's Put see. Put the chip in, please. Uh, chip in. Please do this for us. It would be nice. If Chase love, Visa, love. if you love us. Yes, there's a miracle. I love it. Oh, there is a God. Believe it. I've been seeing so many miracles this week. Wow. No, it didn't work. Oh, it didn't work. Well, then, I'm going to be thinking about miracles today. <laughs> uh, I'm still medically happy. Yeah. Oh, it, it did. It said authorizing, <laughs> but it didn't quite go with it. Okay, but next week I know for sure. sure. Thanks so much. Absolutely. You too. the miracle yeah I guess it was a miracle we got someone up back we were able to sneak in covertly people that's right that's the green party we'll buy your gas but you better be like our homeless like just use the bathrooms go bites you know the liquor store it's closed. What happened to the plaza receivings? What happened? What happened? If I have to tell you what happened, then obviously you guys, you didn't see the viral video. You didn't see the viral video. Let's just forget about it. Let's not talk about it anymore. I've learned by all my family members dropping off dead one by one after a conversation just one with me or a messaging dude you got it man say hello, hello. to france that's my, my daughter in france this dude's cool he proved that the green party we will prevail man they're gonna let us use yeah. the bathrooms we're humans right the human yeah. effort dude all right i'm gonna have to get going how'd you, there. How'd you get the gas um the car didn't work yeah i guess i got another week to wait um i had five bucks though it's okay, I'm gonna go make five bucks and make it back. All right, dude? And I'll probably see you around there. If I make 10, I'll buy you a taco and we'll, we'll chat, all right? Yeah, right? But I'm always there, I'm always there. All right. And if you see me in a better looking car, then you'll know I'm in a really good mood and everything worked out. Okay. But otherwise, I'm just nomad like you, all, all right? right? Well, I'm just gonna fucking, uh, I don't know, try to get by. Yeah, um, are you? Maybe go downtown. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't been downtown in so long, so I have no oh, idea. God. Oh, you got some money? I said, you got like a, a love, 13 bucks or something. You'll be all right. You'll be all right, man. All right. All right, man. Be safe. Yeah, you too. Uh, all right, we got to get going. Oh. Five bucks ain't going to get you too far. No, but there was already gas, remember? I just, I just did it so you can use the bathroom. It's, okay. it's really cool. No, don't worry. With his phone that works. He told me about all this money he's making. He knows, I told him, oh, it's my last $5. Chase Visa, well, we knew. We knew there's no way we're gonna make you guys part of a miracle Chase Bank that just kicked me out, thinking that I could forge Mr. Trump's signature. That's, that's like, for a comedian, I'm not gonna be beheaded like the other ones. 
All right, so we learned. Yeah, I do that a lot. Yeah, my friends do too. We we give the wrong people. I mean, he deserved it. He was he was jumping up and down. I I, I shouldn't say that. But it's just they should be more discreet. He, the minute he opened up, I would have thought of maybe seeing if I got any food or if there's anything. But the minute he opened up his wallet and he had all this, I'm like, well, I, I see at least a, a tent. He's like, this is all I got. So he knows, people, WTF experimentals. That fella knew, that nomad knew that that was my last five bucks. He asked me, hey, how'd you pay for it? I told him the story. The card doesn't work. I guess maybe next week. We're hoping. That's what the guy inside said. You know, he wasn't mad at me. He just, and he made it part of it. He said, well, it did authorize. I'm talking about the miracle. It was like, yeah, it authorized it, but it didn't go through. That's not the same. He probably charged it. I'll just never see it, right? Oh, anyways, that guy, you know. I got a call. I got a call from my sister. Oh, I feel bad. I got the guilt. But then I read it. I'm not even done yet. Yeah, I wrote back. I haven't read her replies. I'm just writing back to the very first message she wrote me, which is, oh, so very damning. So very damning. And I, I put in the guilt. I said, you know, after reading it a bunch of times, I realized... I'm never going to be able to uh, delete these words of you. These words of yours explaining that you did too know what I was going through. You just came to help me. Why did I say that? It was outrageous. She said outrageous whenever I said she never, I never started speaking. I kept asking, but what did I say? I said I agreed with you about what you said about Lesia, but then you write back, you're outrageous to even think those thoughts about me doing that. Well, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this lesson in the future, but for you, you know, uppercase and stuff. And then she goes, by the way, I believe there's a bunch of doctors who are going to, you need to ask them some questions about your bipolar and your ANSD. Well, she should know, right? Yeah, see, that's the thing. I, I, I can't bring up the facts. They would have been helpful been helpful for Baca. That's bikers against child abuse. Um, if I can't say things, people, you've learned that on the channel. If you really are going to try to censor me, when you know that two years ago I was mute and not talking, and now I'm saying everything, but if you call me on the phone saying you want to help me, and then you talk for 10 minutes, and then you say that I'm being selfish... And then you say these blanket things like, I'm not going to feed the bipolar. That's like what someone told me. I'm not going to feed your, whatchamacallit, co co codependency with, with, with your loved one. Oh, man, fuck you guys. It's none of your business. You don't know me. You don't know her. You all get involved. But you don't know what abusive is. Abusive is not letting me speak. That was abusive. But you wrote it right I can't erase it. You erased my words in your head. And then you said all these things that I could not, like Lessa, I could not, it's not fair. It, that's not what I thought. That's not what I said, but you projected it. And then you don't allow me to, to at least re-explain it to you so you understand what you misunderstood. It has to be like your way. But my sister, I was like, okay, if her phone's going to go out all the time, like it's always done, and she's not understanding that the crackling and all that, she's not hearing it. On their end, they're not hearing all the crackling. But I'm listening to her for 10 minutes. It sounds like she's doing something. Now, she says it's her phone's fault, but I believe she was like washing dishes or something. And then another time, then when she doesn't like me pointing out, hey, I... Could, if you knew about this ANSD, you would think that that, ah, you would think, oh, my brother, I don't want him to have to go through that. But I was yelling at her, <laughs> her husband, right? She just passes me over. I don't want to hear any of this. You're being so selfish. If I just let you go on and on and on. She was talking for the first 10 minutes. I let her go on and on and on. So maybe I was feeding into her bipolar, but it's none of her business. How does she know me? No. I think that's how I'm going to end it. Ah, thank you. This is how it's ending your thing, Nina. And I'm doing that just by that one remark. I'm not reading what you said after you finally listened to one of my speaking. 
You got the courage? Hello, do you know how much you've been through? If you went through all the same things I have, and you come into my house, and I'm freaking, and you keep coming closer and closer, and not understanding and, 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 and excusing it on, 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 on mama. And now you're putting something on less. And all I said was you guys are doing the same thing. You're Bodnar's, B-O-D-N-A-R, Lana Bodnar. That's my mom. Last year, Bodnar. I remember she only, the last time she saw me, she said, leave me a car, Bodnar, in this corner spot. I don't know if I like the color. I'm not going to be there. Someone else is going to drive it to Santa Barbara for me. That's how you guys were with that man. Now, I got his tape recording equipment, his film. I got to learn from a camera that he did the stuff that made it so that you guys could not sell it anywhere unless some magical person like myself was just like, oh, it, it, it wasn't scratched and it's not all messed up like that. It's just you flip that out. And, and I was like, that's a great trick. So maybe it was for me. So I listened to that tape and you hear all his phone conversations, like a phone conversation I had with you, Nina. And you hear the other people just blabbing and him going, whoa, whoa, hello. And meanwhile, my mom is saying, yeah, he heard voices in the end. And I go, whoa, so this is the tape recorder. He was inside of a car like me, Nomad. Like that dude, that's how he got me. He kept, he, he was asking the Nomad questions, but he was kind of doing it in this tweaker way. And he was going, Oh, so how are you doing it? How are you living? How are you surviving? And, and I would start to say the story. I'd say, well, I mean, I wasn't really driving this car and, and, and I got in a lot of trouble. I got put in jail just three weeks ago over just driving this particular car. You know, something about, and he goes, you know, you need to get insurance and stuff. And I'm like, well, yeah, you want to talk about the Allstate. You want to talk about that insurance. Here we are, people. That is a whale. That's the bones. Wow, it's really foggy. What did you guys do to my lens? Oh, oh sorry. What have you done? No, this is a beautiful, this is my most favorite peaceful spot. If you walk, it's the Museum of Natural History. I used to come here. Oh, I'm sorry. When I played, sorry, when I played, when I played hooky from school, which was often. Now, I would never speak, though, back then, so they didn't understand that I had the ADD, but we learned about it in this school project that was called Left Brain, Right Brain. So I believe we're the first ones because uh, they never mentioned, they hadn't labeled it yet. They labeled it like 10 years later. So I believe since I was diagnosed with it that back then, like now, teachers, doctors, Especially if you throw a bunch of them at you, like my sister said, hey, a bunch of doctors would ask them, would tell me that you are this bad thing, that you did just this guilt-ridden thing that I go, only Lassa would do that. So I'm putting you together, Lana, Lassa, and Nina, Bonar. I am the Lord Crichton. My name, you know it. I don't have your father. I will not have your brain. I will not deal with the way you guys are still doing it the same way. Oh my God, grow up. Last year, that means you're what, how much? 67? And this girl's paraphrasing the same thing and all soft and saying, I'm kindness. No, Nina, we have to stop the kindness. Don't you see? We do all this kindness for the neighbors. They never knew that there was abuse. Had you just let me tell John what I thought he would have been walking away. Sorry, that's not you, John San Ambrosio. That's another problem. John San Ambrosio. Let's not worry about my John Horton stepfather. John San Ambrosio, you abused me when you would yell during a performance at the, the poor little minion who was conducting. I mean, she, she was doing it for free, and it was like a, a children's... Thing. And, 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 and anyways, if, if you're allowed to do this in any sort of professional way, yelling at me because you missed the cue and then you go, she messed me up. I don't understand. What was she doing? No, that's a hate crime. Do you not like women conducting? You know you were talking 
something like that somewhere. I know. I know that when my sister was backstage, I don't know, or front stage, she was having to play, right, to become some sort of violinist in your establishment of this precious St. Louis Symphony, right? But you guys, cheating, go, you won't believe it, right? They're not supposed to see her. She's playing. They're listening. They probably weren't even supposed to be listening. But they're, they're high-fiving each other going, wow, that's awesome. That dude, that dude's got rhythm. That dude's got boobs is what John said. That dude, that dude will soon be my wife, right? He said it's a chick, and they were all, whoa. Couldn't believe it. Then they hated her at one point. You know, they loved her. Then she started to make them practice. And then they realized that they didn't really want to be, I don't know, a good orchestra player, a decent orchestra player in some decent place that's getting a decent salary. No, they just wanted, well, I don't think I should have to practice. Ooh. Oh, well, hello. Welcome to the Dr. Lord Griden. That, that officer deputy, you guys, wow. That was the wrong thing to say. So, instead of brushing it this way for you, Lana, and this way for you, Nina, and this way, well, Kent, you don't care, but Kent, you might have ANSD. I know you didn't understand what I was saying. I was surprised that my sister, who said she knew what I had and had researched it, that she never expressed it to you. But remember, I was yelling to you at the phone, and you were saying, but I'm going to go get my ear pleases, buddy. I'm getting some you know, so I can hear. And I said, oh, maybe you have the ANSD too. But Nina hadn't mentioned it to you, so now I'm spelling it out to you. Well, it's, uh, it means auditorial, so if I said that you might have it, and that I know that your ears got mess up, messed up, you've told me several times, and Nina too, from, from being in a band. Now, I don't know, I mean, I, I know I told you once that I was in a band, Nina, you've actually come to one of my bands. That was Nobody Knows. That was in the 80s. And you, with Nick Rosen, my favorite punk cellist, he didn't know yet. He is now. But then he was sticking paper in his ear going, ah. And, and you were too, Nina. Now you go backstage. You don't know what to say. He went backstage. He said the right thing. He said he stuck it in his ears. He told him it was too loud. I've been telling them that forever. They didn't want to do it. They thought I wasn't, you know, my ears were not worthy. My thoughts, my even, let's just try playing softer, see if we get different ideas. No. But he said it, and, and I remember this, um, the drummer, who was an African-American who thought I was racist at one point because I made some funny joke where I said, well, now I really hate niggers, right? You have to know the whole thing, right? But this is the only place you will have heard whatever I just said right there, and it wasn't bleeped out. That's so truthful. You can bet me all you want. I don't want to bet you, but I just want you to go, yo, you're right. I thought you were wrong. I want to apologize. I apologize for Lessa. Lessa was wrong. She shouldn't have come, had a fight with over Nina, over music. You guys, both of you, that's not good musicians. And Lessa, if you talk about shallow in music, or Nina talks about shallow in music, if you don't know that that's like a truth, then let me take you down a notch with your shine for everything new. Shine for you. You know how much money you probably made publishing? Maybe nothing, but you sold it. You sold the music that made all those synagogues sing. And if that one piece was sung in that synagogue that I told everyone, just watch Furry Potato Live or Furry Potato News. Track it down. There are some. It happened this last Sabbath. Find out when the Sabbath was. Learn that the rabbis aren't supposed to be swearing. Learn that they should not be pointing at someone saying, dude's got boobs when they are trans. But they should have been talking because the other person on the other side of the camera filming them was being mute. 
and nobody was listening. And if you can't find that video right now, that's not my fault. If you don't know what a First Amendment audit is, but you say yes, like everyone has done today, and have to go, really? And then they go, no. So if every cop does the yes, we can just get away with shit. That's the poor guy. He's going around in circles. Yeah. You're having us because there's no bench. You're just having him walk around in circles, even though you heard he paid for a that motel I mean that's you know what that is what did he say the country and garden one I used to deliver papers there in the 70s it's uh, no way that's uh, that's too much for that you know I mean Kurt Cobain would have loved it that's, those are the kind of things he loved he would just shoot up but he could afford it all people whatever you said about him afterwards that whole intervention that's, that triggered him back to Nina the kind of thing that your kind of talk, that is old talk. It's old relationship talk. It's done. Course of Miracles, done. I loved it. I have the cassettes. I can repeat to you verbatim some of his things. So you're going to be telling me you're not going to feed into my bipolar because I suddenly get manic and all this magical stuff that you don't understand, but it's actually other people, like 150, I don't know what we have, six, 56 subscribers, Nina. Come join me. It's been two years. I've been studying it the whole time. What have you been studying? You've probably been studying about your dog. You see, you never talked about him the whole time because you were busy saying you're going to be telling me something that's going to either put some light on, yeah, on that you're going to just keep being kind to her. That was my trigger. You tell me the thing, I agree with you and go, she needs to be taken down just like mama. And you say, no, we're going to do it the kind way. Do you see how I turned out? You wrote it. I know you're kind. I know it's the bipolar who's getting mad. No, you triggered it. Just like Ken, I know Ken's kind. But I was telling him, dude, you can't just let me finish what I was doing with my sister. Let me do those messages. It's her fault that she has a machine. Her phone's broken. She's got to blame it on me, right? Like, it's not my fault that I have a broken phone. Yes, it is. It was your fault when the last time that I did something magical and there was a, a miracle and it was happening right in front of you and I had all these kids without their music stands and they were doing it by memory. We never practiced it by memory. They never even practiced it at home. They played perfectly. It would never be like that again. It was definitely not like that at the concert. It never is. It's always ruined. So you're right there. There's nobody there. There's nothing to do. You could have been professional and just pretend to be listening to them, but you're like, at your phone. And when they did this amazing thing and everyone, all the students, they all did some little thing that was just awesome to them. And you were looking at your phone. I'm not forgiving that. I'm not forgiving Lesser for writing a piece that you should monetize of after that shit. And then, ah, they're, they're, they're hypocrites. So you don't be one either. Take that music down. Unpublish it. I'm banning you from, you know, Sony. Don't worry. Sony International, you can do whatever you want. Less, yeah. Um, yeah, you see, I said less, yeah, so that my lawyers, you know, don't get in trouble. Uh, Nina. Yeah. I can't believe that paragraph. If you write that kind of stuff texting, if I see that in some public zone that has anything to do with mental illness, I will take you down and make sure that you just don't write to anybody. That is not a way to, to do it. What kind of schooling did you do? What kind of doctors are you referencing? And so I'm calling bullshit. I think I didn't make it there. What's this? Give me one of them. Give me the doctor who's going to agree with you. With what you said. Because... He's going to look at something and say, but I can't hear the recording. You're just paraphrasing. If you, if you paraphrase that triggered him, your sister, well then maybe you should, right? You shouldn't be calling me maybe. You know what I mean? Nobody's doing the opposite show, but stop doing what you did pre-COVID. No way. I was outside during the COVID while you're doing whatever. But you still don't know. I'm scared to death of rat water. So I'm not going to ever come over to your house until you tell me something of yours. But I don't want to hear about your relationship with Lassia for two. Yeah, it's, it's old. Either, either tell her to fuck off or not. But 
Don't be like, you're super nice. And now you don't understand why I'm telling you to fuck off. Because that's, that's not how you deal with someone with bipolar. That's not, I'm doing this channel so that I'm meeting people who are like me. How dare you, Nina? I, I'm cured. I'm, I mean, I'm getting better. I, I'm in control. Just because you don't watch the videos, you don't understand the videos, you don't understand me. You wrote this huge thing in uppercase saying, how can you not understand? You're not missing understanding me. It's right there. It's going to be my phone. I have to get a new phone to get rid of you. That what you wrote. You do not respect me. I'm going to repeat what I learned when I messed up trans to the sun, Ashkelon Said. Same. Said. F Facebook. He said, respect the page. I just mentioned that I didn't like him complaining the whole time that he was at my house and I let him and his girlfriend stay there for a week. As they just went, he just complained every morning about the, he didn't like the bed. I guess he wanted my bed. But I gave him, I went and bought, you know, spent money that I didn't have on air mattresses. And he just, he just did this thing. He didn't try. And I was like, wow, I guess nobody likes me. Because who does that? You're at someone else's house. You're an invited guest. Like you, you, you called me, Nina. Why do you call me? You do all this talking. You say, now I want to help you. What do you need? And I say, I need you to listen to me all the way to the end and, and listen to my story. It's the truthful story. It's the truth. It happened. My doctor says I need to get this out. I was always being crushed. The few times I tried to get it out with my mom or someone important, it got altered. It got cut off. It never happened. It's got to stop. That's what my doctor said, Nina. You all got to stop that, Nina, Mama, Lessa, get out of my head. It's not good. You guys are doing the exact same things you did 10 years ago. You're doing the exact same thing when you guys went to a relationship in the 80s. Lessa ran. She can't take the, you know, whatever. that you, she, she might be wrong or need to change something. Nina, you're, you've done too much spiritual work to, you're just going to do this kindness like you're dally dally. Oh, come on. He'll do something. Gandhi did something. It's a violent act. It doesn't matter what it is. You have to do a violent act for people to finally take you seriously. Otherwise, they'll write these things and you trigger people. And if it actually gets accidentally in the wrong hands, which means like that's all over the internet, people with what we have are going to get hurt. So you must stop unless you do one of these like me. And in order to do what I am doing, you're gonna to have to look at 2,000 videos, Nina, and then figure out how you're gonna film it with your phone that's all broken. Mine's broken too. Did it make that sound to you? No, I care about you. I make your lives matter, all of them. Why, when I'm standing right in front of you saying, please let me speak, my life doesn't matter. It's been like that. Since 1969, why does my life not matter? I'm not going to feed into your bipolar. But then, thank you. I guess I don't matter. But I'm not listening to you. I'm not talking to you. If you call me, you better have a new phone.